Given that x equals 2 e to the power of t minus 5, y equals 8 e to the minus t plus 3 e to the t minus 4, find the value of t when dy by dx equals minus 1. So in this question, we are looking at doing parametric differentiation. I need to find an expression for dy by dx. And so to do that, I need to use the expression that dy by dx is equal to dy by dt over dx by dt. So starting off, finding dx by dt. Differentiating this expression with respect to t, 2e to the t, well, e to the t differentiates to e to the t, so I just get left with 2e to the t. R minus 5 is a constant, so it disappears. dy by dt. Differentiated, 8e to the minus t differentiates to 8e to the minus t, but then I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is minus t, so I get minus 8e to the minus t. Differentiate 3e to the t, I get 3e to the t. And differentiate the constant minus 4, it simply disappears. So when I find dy by dx, I get 3e to the t minus 8e to the minus t. So that's dy by dt over dx by dt. So equal to 2e to the t. OK, so let's work through this now. I'm just going to leave it like it is for the time being. We now know that dy by dx is equal to 0. I need to find not equal to 0, sorry, is equal to minus 1. I need to find a solution for t correct to three decimal places. So substituting this in, I get minus 1 is equal to 3e to the t minus 8e to the minus t over 2e to the t. I'm going to times both sides of the equation by the denominator of the fraction, so I no longer have to deal with the fraction, so I'm going to times by 2e to the t, and I get minus 2e to the t equals minus 8, sorry, 3e to the t minus 8e to the minus t. If I subtract, uh, sorry, add 2e to the t to both sides, make sure that's clear, then what I get is 0 is equal to 5e to the t, minus 8e to the minus t. Now to go on and solve this, really I need to appreciate what we're saying on this second term here. Actually what we're saying is this is 5e to the t minus 8 over e to the t. So I'm going to multiply by e to the t. to get rid of the denominator of this fraction. And so I get left with 0 equals 5 e to the t times e to the t. Add the indices, I get e to the 2t minus 8. So I can now rearrange and solve this equation because I can add 8 to both sides. So I get 5, 5 e to the t equals 8. And I can divide both sides by 5. This is 2t, apologies. I can divide both sides by 5, so I get e to the 2t equals 8 over 5. Or we can write it as 1.6. At this point, I want to take natural logs of both sides. So I'm going to take myself right back up here now. So that on the left-hand side, natural log will cancel with e. So I get 2t is equal to ln 8 over 5, so natural log of 8 over 5. And then I can divide both sides of the equation by 2. So it leaves me with t equals a half log 8 over 5. Notice I haven't evaluated anything at this point. I haven't actually used my calculator at any point. Now I can get an exact answer for t by, sub by typing this into my calculator. And when I type this into my calculator and evaluate it, I get an answer of 0.235 correct to three decimal places. Okay then.
So let's have a look to see how we get marks on this question. Initially, we get a standalone mark for our derivative of x. We then get a standalone mark for b1 for our derivative of y, if you have got them correct. Next, there is a method mark. If you have attempted to put your dy by dx, whatever it is, sorry, dy by dt, whatever it is, over your dx by dt, whatever it is, and you get an accuracy mark if you've got a correct answer which matches up to this. Next, if you've put dy by dx, if you've put this equation equal to minus 1, you get a method mark. If you then work down and get to some sort of expression and manipulate the equation, work all the way through and get down to this point here where e is to 2t is equal to 8 over 5, then you get an accuracy mark or an answer mark. Finally, if you get to this answer of t equals 0.235, you get an accuracy or answer mark. And this is for a correct answer only. Okay, well, I hope that all made sense and that you understood my explanations.